Uh, transfers. Brew McCoy has transferred to the University of Tennessee. I don't know if anybody really remembers him. He was uh, like yeah, a top five recruit. Colts brother. Yeah, went went all over the place. Uh, well, no, not Colts brother. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that Colts brother? No, 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 no. He's from. Oh, well, uh, he started at Texas. So yeah, I he's. Th- thought that he was Colts brother. No, uh, they're they're a uh, different race altogether, my friend. <laughs> well, I, uh, I don't know. No, Brew McCoy is a. He was a top five wide receiver. He committed to well, USC. He started the game, right? Uh, he has since, but so he here was his timeline. He okay. He committed to USC. Decommitted. Then enrolled at Texas, never played at Texas. Say, started at Texas, right? Yes, he he enrolled at Texas in uh, February, like right after National Signing Day, and then immediate over the summer transferred, and it looked like he was going to go to Oregon for a bit, I believe. But he ended up back at USC. He enrolled there. He played in the 2020 season uh, for a little bit. He was hurt and did not play in the 2021 season, and now he's going to Tennessee. And so, uh, this, I mean, he's got first round wide receiver talent, but can he, can he get it all put together, you know, coming off injury, coming off whatever, uh, Josh Heupel's offense will certainly, you know, give him a chance to showcase. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the Jordan Addison news right now, obviously everybody was pinpointing USC, et cetera. Uh, you and I went back and forth on Twitter and whatnot about, you know, if he doesn't go to USC, then what ends up happening? Uh, I'm curious what the backlash would be, and it is reported that he is actually out in California working out with Bryce Young, who is Alabama's quarterback. Now I don't know that that necessarily means anything. A lot of these guys that are from Cali go back after spring practice, and they all work out out there with their trainers and specialized guys and whatever special coaches. Um, I'm. I'm interested in what's going to go on here. Do we have some kind of a bidding war going on? Is Alabama? I mean, Alabama needs wide receivers, obviously. But I mean, they they already went and got two of them. They got Tyler uh, Tyler Harris, I think is the guy's name. No, Tyler something. I forget the guy's name out of uh, Louisville. The guy that's like super fast. And they went and got Jermaine Burton out of Georgia. If he ends up going to Alabama, or say he chooses. Tennessee or Texas or what it appears Texas is not out of this thing with him. Uh, is this just a money thing or is this Addison getting himself in the best position to win and to go highly in the NFL draft? Uh, I'm curious your thoughts on that report that he's working out with Bryce Young. I don't care. I do not care about these guys. <laughs> when they Once you go into the portal, I don't give a shit what you do until you make a decision. I just don't. Yeah. I, I'm not going to play. Same thing I do with the other recruiting stuff. I just don't care. I, I, I'm not going to follow Arch Manning around and wait and see if he picks a school. Like, I, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Once he picks, if he picks a school with an A on it, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to hate it. <laughs> you know? So, like, that's – but, like, this is how this – I don't give a shit. I don't yeah. care. I can't control it. I don't find it interesting. It you makes know? sense. Okay. I, I can understand that. There are a lot of people that do find it very interesting to see what these guys are going to do. Um, but, you know, that that's my biggest interest in this. It's not necessarily – uh, you know, waiting on his every move to see where he's going to go. My interest is, what is the backlash? What does it mean going forward? Will it change anything? I would imagine if he does end up signing some crazy $3 million NIL deal for one year, uh, we will almost immediately see a market correction depending upon what he does during the season. Like Addison was, it, we, we had six wide receivers go in the first round of the NFL draft. And this guy is the one that won the Bolitnikoff for the best wide receiver. Like, he's unbelievable. But we have seen guys have really good seasons and then drop back to the pack. If he doesn't play up to that $3 million price tag, then I'm curious what the market correction will be going forward. I, I think uh, we talk about this all the time, that those, those two words, market correction. And it's going to happen a lot uh, over the next couple of years with this. Like, I don't know that the NCAA or Congress, or anybody else needs to do anything with NIL and whatever else, with the transfer portal, all this, we will have a market correction eventually. Kids will not be as willing to jump into the portal once a lot of them no longer have a scholarship to go back to school somewhere. Uh, We will not have as many of these NIL deals thrown out when the kids don't play up to the level of money that they've been given, and these 
billionaire boosters and millionaire boosters are going to think, what am I do? Why am I giving these kids that haven't proven anything all this money? Right? Like Jordan Addison has proven it, but eh, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm curious the direction that it's going to go and what Addison ends up doing. Um, the fact that he was out there working out with the Alabama quarterback, I, I think it might have shocked a few people, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything. So, so we'll see what goes on with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.